is uh, Chuggy, and uh, welcome back to RimWorld. Sorry that I've not been uh, posting lately. Uh, I really just started procrastinating like a bitch, and well, <laughs> I've been, I've just been I've been trying to think of videos I could do, and it's been pretty fucking tough. And then I realized I've been a couple days late for my RimWorld and Kenshi series, so you're most likely gonna get the RimWorld video today, which is um the 14th and then you'll get your we'll probably get the Kenchi video tomorrow um otherwise yeah i'm just trying to figure out other games i mean there's some i could do like maybe call of duty but i mean that's not really eh you know that's not really what i'm kind of going for i guess the whole thing though is that I'm, I'm willing to record any kind of game so maybe we could do the campaign for that Last time we left off, we had some fights, and we won victoriously. Um, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We have plenty of food coming in. We have our cloth, which is a big plus for us. Make our own clothes and other fine furniture. We have a lot of medicine, which is oh, so much better than our, la than our last series when we had no medicine. So life is going good. We almost have this nice floor built, which is going to help uh, their mood. Uh, we still need to keep digging. Uh, I, I want to dig this out as of right now so we can build a power room to build batteries for our power. And then over here, I'm, I forget what I, I forget what, what I was going to build here, but I want to build something good here. I might make this into like a hospital. Like maybe it's like a medical ward. Because over here is becoming our, like, our prison section. So I might I might dig this out and put and build walls like build like you know prison cells in case you ever capture more people or if someone goes mad we can we can arrest them and put them in a cell for so they can chill out um, but yeah that's what, that's what, that's what we've been doing um, better plans of right now I want to get um, more defenses set up. I think that's the one thing I want to do right now. So let me go to our... I think it's MISC? No. Where is it under? Security. And let's build some more traps. There we go. That'll help us with some defenses. Uh, sandbags. Hmm. I guess building some wouldn't be a bad idea because uh, if we do get raided, it's a good place for them to take cover with their guns. So like, let's build one right there, one right there, and we'll put some right near the door. One thing I want to do as well is I want to give them their own beds, their own rooms, because obviously they hate when they get interrupted and that's a big uh, morale uh, disadvantage. I, I know it's like it's like a minus three or what, what is it? It's two, but I'd rather have none of it than any, you know, because it, it's just it's just better. Obviously, he's good though, because Wolfram did go into a mental breakdown before, so he is yeah he is a he has that feeling. Uh, Adalia, I think she's had a couple times, but otherwise she doesn't really care. I mean, she's more of an she's more of an indoor person, but she's our best farmer. <laughs> Um, and then we have we have this man, our new boy. He's very drowsy. I mean, what, what were your things again? Oh, that's right. You're you're greedy, and you're a wimp. Huh. But he's also too smart. So he's good at fighting, but the second he gets hit, it's over for him. Death Assifier. What the hell does that do? A chest implant for preventing enemy use of captured equipment. Upon the user's death, it releases powerful chemicals that dis dis dissolve gear in contact with the user's body. Oh, wow. So when he dies, anything that's on him will just be fucking d dissolved. Damn. Okay. It appears we have some war merchants from the Western Republic. So uh, who's our best speaker again? It's you. What are they willing to sell? There are some boomalopes, weapons, some kind of clothings. 
Okay. We can summon our flintlock pistol, which I think is fine. <laughs> they can have that. We'll keep our medicine and we'll keep our components because we need those. Uh, we don't really we don't need to get any food from them. Nor weapons. Yeah, no, we we don't really need anything from them. So we'll just, we'll, we'll just take the money and that's it. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about those two. The rotting corpses. You need a wreath and a toga. Yeah, I, I, I remember we should figure this out last time. I don't know how we make a wreath and a toga. Where do we get a wreath and a toga? I truly don't know where you're, where you're supposed to get this stuff. A wreath and a toga. Do we have to research it? A wreath and a toga. Yeah, I truly don't know where we're supposed to get this. Oh, so his thing is that he's on a food bin. Uh, Wolfen's now on an on a insulting spree because he kept getting rebuffed by Adalia because she keeps rejecting him. In other words, he's butthurt. <laughs> He is, he's pretty butthurt about, you know, not getting the ladies. So now he's going to go on an endless, like, insult spree on, on her. Oh, that's terrific, dog. Oh my god. I want you to romance him. Jesus. I'm gonna try to get uh, some of these ducks, at least some of these ducks treated so we can have, so they can keep producing eggs. Oh. Oh my god, a man just crashed here. He's a refugee. Oh, we could sell these ducks. Yeah. Take as many of them as you want, my friend. There you go. All the duckies are gone. I'm fine with that. Oh, he said to leave. Rest him. I think Wolfen's just that one character I've, I've never had in this game where he is like the most aggressive person I would know. Where are Barry's skills? He's actually not too bad. He can fight a little bit. He can do construction. He can do plants. Okay. He's, he's not a caring person because he's a masochist and a tortured artist. Okay, so he can't be a doctor. <laughs> oh my god, another one. What are you good at, my friend? Fighting. Oh my god, he's a fighter. And he's a cook. He was an orphan thief and he was a bodyguard. And he's tough. And, 
Oh, he joined us. Oh my god. We have a new we have a new person. Bogdan. Welcome Bogdan. We're going to make another bed, but hey, we have a new person. It's really dope. Okay, I need to repair this cable. We've unlocked smithing. Nice. Uh, let's definitely go towards machining then. He's made a masterwork dining chair. This furniture bears a portrayal of four explorers and lawyers eating pumpkins together. The per pure style of the central scene clashes with the amateurish yet attractive depiction of the background. Three farmers appearing off of the side. Is that a reference to Thanksgiving? <laughs> so far, we're not doing too badly. Um, we have a new member. That's pretty cool. We have two prisoners. Uh, one is is a, is a original member. We just have to try to convert him back from being a, an animal. And then we have this man named Barry, which over time he doesn't have much resistance, so he's gonna be really easy to break down and then convert and then join us. So he'll he'll be good to get. Then we'll have five people on our group, uh, which would definitely help us. And we can start getting a little faster, but that also means we need more food. We need more beds and everyone needs a job. So that's definitely one of our priorities. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it off because I think that's I think it's a good place to leave it off. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want, want to see any of the games. Uh, just put them in the comments below. And um yeah, that's about all I really have to say, except for like, like, share, subscribe, and all that sweet jazz. But um, I'm signing off, so ciao for now.